Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this video, we want to talk about RDS reserved instances and the size flexibility feature which you get with that. Now, this feature can be really useful to you uh, when you are planning the RDS reservation for your enterprise. Let's try and understand how does that work. Let's say you are using an RDS MySQL uh, database and currently you are using maybe m5.2x large so you can go ahead and and actually reserve an m5.2x large right but what if uh, the need changes and let's say after two months you have to run double the size let's say after two months uh, you have to run m5.4x large then what happens for your reservation whether it goes waste the answer is no in case of rds you have this size flexibility in the reserved instance what does that mean it means that for certain rds instances and it is easy to remember all the rds engines other than sql server actually get this benefit because um, if you look at things like MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, or Amazon Aurora, all of all of these things actually run on Linux operating system, right? Whereas SQL Server runs on Windows operating system. So on all of you know with all these engines, you get the size flexibility. You also get it with RDS Oracle if you are using the bring bring your own license version, right? Uh, if you are using license included then it is not applicable. So how does this work? Let's understand it with an example. Let's say you have purchased a m4.2x large MySQL, right? And what happens is you go ahead and you start running, uh, actually instead of that you start running two instances of m4 large. You had bought, you had actually bought one instance of m4.2x large but you decide to run, let's say, two instances of m4.x large. So it will get covered, right? Uh, we should try and understand this with some calculation. Let's look at this one. So here is a good page which talks about, uh, like it gives you a sort of table with which you can understand. So let's say uh, for, you know, within any family, if you are running an, a large instance, it would be like four units. If you are using multi-AZ, that means there are two nodes. So you can just multi multiply it by two, it will be eight units. If you are running with, let's say, one writer instance or one primary instance and two standbys, then there are totally three nodes. So it becomes four into three, 12, right? But let's talk within this. Let's take just example of single AZ to understand this. What, what it's saying here is, that you can go ahead and let's say if you go ahead and reserve um, a large instance, right? It could be M4 large or it could be M5 large. Let's say if you have reserved an M5 large, that means four units you have reserved. Now within that reservation, you can run an equivalent sized instance. So that means you could run, go ahead and run, let's say two M5 dot medium, or you can run four m5 dot small you can run 4 m5 dot small right so that is quite helpful why is it so because when you are uh, when you are going ahead and doing the reservation for your organization and in many of the accounts some of the times people people might not be might not be sure you know 100% that this is the instance type they want to remain with so let's take an example and try to understand this let's say uh, within a particular aws account you have got following requirement to go ahead and reserve rds instances so let's say here the first application person tells you that will be running m5 4x large instance um, second one says m5 2x large instance i'm running but four nodes of it and the third one says m5 x large i'm running so uh, if you if you try to actually write down all of these different sizes in terms of the lowest denominator 
out of all these which one is the lowest m5 dot x large is lowest right so if i try to express each and every line item in terms of m5 x large how would it be if you see here on the left hand side you can see 2x large is just double of x large 4x large is 4 times of x large right that's what it is so let's say for m5 dot x large if we are considering it 1 m5 4x large will be 4 because it is just 4 times of it in the same way m5 2x large will be 2 because it is just double of m5 dot x large but because we have 4 nodes running so the overall requirement here will be 2 into 4 which is 8 so what I'm saying is instead of going ahead and reserving all of these things separately of these instance types, what I will go ahead and reserve would be just m5.x large, but I'll go ahead and reserve 13 nodes. Why so? Because 4 plus 8 plus 1 is 13, right? So I'll reserve 13 nodes and all of this can be covered with that. What's the benefit of this? Because of the size flexibility, let's say it happens that after two months, your team says that now there are some changes you know we won't be running the older instance type rather these are the new instance types which will be running now in this if you see the first application owner has not changed anything still with m5.4x large second one says that it will be m5.2x large but we will be running only three nodes and the third application owner is saying now i'll be running m5.4x large instance actually so for this the good thing is that you don't need to go ahead and cancel or change any of your reserved instances right what i've done is if you go ahead and try to calculate in the same way for each and every line item you know so let's say we want to again express each and every line item in terms of m5.4x large oh, sorry m5.x large right because that's what we have done so if you try to express all of them the line item 3 would be 4 line item 1 would also be 4 and line item 2 would be 6 why because m5.2x large is 2 times of m5.x large so there is a factor of 2 and there are 3 nodes so 2 into 3, 3 is 6 so if you want to do a total of all of this how much it would be it would be 14 isn't it what happens now even with this change after 2 months you don't need to do anything now the total requirement is 14 in terms of m5.x large you already have 13 nodes reserved so all of those 13 nodes will be covered by reserved pricing only one additional node of m5.x large will be running on on demand rates so that's a that's a really good thing right the important thing here is that within rds you are getting the size flexibility that when you are keeping the generation and family type same so here the family type is m and generation is 5 right that's why m5 so till the time you keep family and generation type same you can change the size of the instance right and overall units get calculated and based on that your reservation gets applied so you get flexibility within one family and generation right that's the important thing to understand so do you also get the same type of facility with other reserved instances like uh, let's say elastic cache and open search answer is no you do not get that type of flexibility in case of elastic cache and open search you need to have the same instance type running which you have reserved then only you will get reservation benefits otherwise you won't get it okay so this instance type flexibility you get in rds and remember within rds for all those engines which are running on linux operating system this is quite similar to rds flexible uh, this is quite similar to that size flexibility which you get with reserved instances in ec2 as well but when you are running linux operating system at that time okay so i hope uh, you understood this thing and uh, i'll also give you this link in the description which you can go ahead and read through right so the, this is also shown with the diagram uh, and it is quite easy to understand the important thing is you know very simple just think about this if you have reserved let's say 1 to x large right doesn't matter let's say m5 to x large it means you can run two instances of m5 dot x large or you can run four instances of m5 dot large so that type of flexibility 
you get okay all right so with that we'll go ahead and wrap up this video if you like this stuff please go ahead and like and share this video with someone and we will see you in the next one take care goodbye